Hi Virgo, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope you're doing well. A couple things here before we start your reading. Um, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box. It's an almost personal reading about what your person's thinking, feeling about you, their upcoming actions, <laughs> love notes, uh, uh, their intentions and guidance as well. Uh, secondly, you can uh, also enter my giveaway uh, if you'd like. I'm giving away one free personal reading each month. To enter, you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. All right, so good luck if you'd like. Your cards are already popping out here, so let's get started. All right, your first card here is a fork in the road, number 13, which is four. Let's see what else we have here. We have Unfinished Symphony, uh, number 10. And we also have here Exchanging Gifts exchanging gifts number 27 okay uh, bottom of the deck here you have number 33 which is chaos and conflict all right so we have here a uh, number four one uh, number nine and we also have 33 so these could be synchronicities of numbers that can kind of validate these messages if you've been seeing those synchronicities or they may be numbers that are important to you so what i see here virgo fork in a road here okay so it tells me that you may be in a place where you're trying to make some sort of decision here all right about um about your life now it can be in general but I feel like there is somebody in your world here, right, that you have some unfinished business with. Now, that can be, right, that, you know, you never just, you never got clarity around the situation, the person you were dealing with, right? Maybe things ended, maybe things uh, became distance, whatever your situation is, it feels like there was no closure, okay? And some of you may be making the decision here to move on from that person, Okay, um, you also have here exchanging gifts. So the energy with this is, um, I see this as different uh, energies, but I feel like there is, you're in a place right now, I feel, where you're trying to decide where to put your time and your energy, okay? So some of you may be focusing that energy on you, maybe honing in on your gifts, right? Maybe your talents, maybe your life purpose, uh, you know, or just maybe doing things that you enjoy. Okay, so I feel like you're kind of in that place right now, right? Deciding what's important in your life, right? Uh, is this person, right? Are things completely finished, right? Or is there something here that needs to be uh, visited? Okay, we're going to see what your tarot says here. We're going to pull past, present, and near future energy. So let's get the energy here for Virgo. We'll clarify uh, the cards uh, as needed, okay? So you have the Seven of Cups. You have the Two of Swords. You have here the Ten of Wands. You have here the Sun card, Strong Leo energy. We have the Knight of Swords. Okay, interesting. Oh, look at that. And you have the Two of Cups. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Nine of Coin. I feel like that's your energy there, Virgo. And it's not about gen gender. It's about the energy. Okay. So in your recent past energy, we have the Seven of Cups. We have the Two of Swords. And we also have here the Ten of Wands. Okay. This is what I feel you have mixed emotions about here. All right. Not sure if things um, are over between you and somebody here, right? Or if you and somebody is going to come together. And this may be very specific to, you know, a lot of you here. But I feel like there is a situation between you and someone where things aren't finished. There was never closure. And I'm going to say it could be somebody, you know, definitely from your past. Maybe it was many years ago, okay? It doesn't have to be somebody recent. But I feel um, for a lot of you, this is something recent here. And I feel like maybe you've, you've held back from making any decisions, maybe about completely moving on from this person. I feel with this Ten of Wands, right? Uh, definitely feels that you were carrying the weight of this connection or this relationship. Okay, and this may be emotionally, this may be a burden for you, 
right? Um, I feel as well, okay? We're gonna see here um, with this Two of Swords, right? What was holding you back, okay? Maybe you weren't seeing something clearly or it was just around clarity. Now, in the near future energy, I mean, I'm sorry, not near future, in your present energy, we have the Sun card, we have the Knight of Swords, and we have the Two of Cups, okay? I feel like you're going to get some sort of communication here from this person. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. We have strong Leo. We also have here Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have here Aries uh, and Sagittarius. Okay. I feel like there's some communication or movement here that's about to happen that shows like there's some happy potential here. You got two of cups, okay, two people coming together, two people right, having mutual feelings. Now, I'm going to clarify that Knight of Swords. Who knows? Maybe it could be a new person, I'm going to say as well, because there is some sort of decision here you've been holding back, okay? But I do see here you're taking a more practical, independent approach, towards um you know this situation so let's clarify the cards we're going to see what the energy show here for you uh, virgo and then we'll do near, near future energy why is the two of swords here please why is the two of swords here please why is the two of swords here now it can be that your person right because it is definitely see an air sign here it can be that your person here was indecisive right held back from making any decision. So let's see, why is the Two of Swords here, please? Okay, King of Swords. We have the Devil, Strong Capricorn Energy. We have the Ten of Cups. And we have the Two of Coin, okay? Bottom of the deck here, we have the Three of Wands, all right? Okay, so what I see here, uh, Virgo, first of all, we have the three of wands here. So this is someone I feel you were dealing with who was very indecisive about what they wanted um, as far as love and relationships. This is somebody I feel here who was probably just kind of going with the flow. They weren't really making any commitments. Um, maybe somebody who was keeping their options open. You do have the King of, King of Swords and the uh, Devil card, okay? I feel like there could have been somebody on this person's mind and for some of you, there could have been somebody else in the picture. Uh, and that's only if you know that that person was in the picture, okay? But for a lot of you, I feel like this person could have been holding back, um, you know, different things. It can also be, could have been holding back for fear, ego, right? Never really making a decision here. Not sure what makes them happy. This could be somebody who... Um, you know, they they were keeping their options open. They weren't sure what they wanted in the future. Someone, uh, some of you could be dealing with somebody who has addictions, I'm going to say as well. But for others, I feel like you could also be dealing with somebody here who uh, there could have been somebody else maybe they were holding on to. And when I say holding on, it doesn't necessarily mean like, you know, a lover, it can be, but for some, um, I'm going to say it just can be the idea of, right, they could have had an ex or something that they were still holding on to. And so they were never really decisive here. They were always back and forth, I feel, with this connection or relationship. And I also pick up here too, you could be dealing with somebody too who emotionally or just in general, it was very up and down with them. Okay, so they could, you know, be somebody who has very, you know, they're either very, uh, you know, happy and excited or they're very like low and down, like the no in between is what I pick up with your person. Okay, so let's clarify this Knight of Swords. Who's this Knight of Swords coming towards uh, Virgo? Who's coming towards Virgo with communication? Who's coming towards Virgo with communication? All right, so we have the King of Wands. We have the Six of Swords. 
We have the Eight of Swords. Oh boy. And we have the Three of Wands and bottom of the deck. Here we have the Nine of Swords. Okay. So somebody's worried here. Somebody has you on their mind. Let's go through this. Let's see what this means here. I feel like you got somebody here. Like, remember I said I feel like I get a very like up and down personality with your person. So here's the up part here with the Nine of Swords. This person's coming towards you pretty quickly here. You have the King of Wands and you have here the Six of Swords. Or why? I feel like this person's um, about to take action to come towards you. They may be feeling like you're slipping away. They may be feeling like you're moving on. Some of you, there could be some actual travel distance there. You have the Eight of Swords and you have the Three of Wands, okay? So I feel here your person is definitely thinking about the future. Not too sure yet, right? If what this person has, if anything has changed, right? If they've made any decisions about the future. I just feel like this person's been doing a lot of thinking and they may be feeling like you're moving on. That's why they're rushing towards you here. Now, they they do, I do see here, right? They get caught up in their head here thinking about things. Right, not too sure if they're ready to take that next step, okay? But there is some worry here, look at that. Maybe the worry here is around making a decision and, it, and it's around you, look at that. Nine of Pentacles again, Virgo. And look, look what's right after that, Nine of Swords. Right, that's the energy we're clarifying here. So this person's worried. <laughs> this person's worried that you're moving on. So if you haven't had any contact with this person, I feel here, uh, it may be working. And I don't always recommend no contact. You know, some people say, oh, no contact. But it doesn't work in every situation, I'm just going to say. It's going to depend what your situation is. Because uh, communication is very important, right? If you're not communicating with someone, it doesn't necessarily mean that you don't communicate they're going to reach out to you it doesn't always happen that way okay so why is the sun card here please why is the sun card here let's see what the potential is here okay we've got the five of wands got the six of wands we have the page of wands okay the king of cups right look at that bonus of the deck here is the empress i feel here virgo uh, they're very attracted to your energy Look at that. Again, two of swords and the justice, okay? They're very attracted to your energy. And again, I just keep picking up that this person knows they're going to have to make some decisions here. And I'm going to say here, now that I'm looking at this, I really feel like this is your person at a crossroads. I feel like they know here they're going to have to put some effort here in uh, to this with you because uh, I don't feel like you're doing a whole lot, right? Putting the effort towards them. So I feel like Virgo, let's see what uh, the Sun card here has to show. Okay, so, you know, the potential here, I feel that right now clarifying this, clarifying where things could go and the potential of the situation is that you and this person, I feel about what you want in the connection or the relationship may be different. For some of you, there could be some drama. There could be something, drama, some sort of drama that's interfering here. But what I really pick up is, is you and this person don't have like the same goals. Okay, that's in the current energy. And that might be why this person is realizing they're going to have to make some sort of decision. Either they're going to need to be on the same page with you, right? Or they're going to have to go on their way. Okay, so I feel like that could be part of the thought process here while your person is stuck here. Yeah, the page of wands and you have the king of cups. Okay, so I do feel like this person has feelings for you. I do feel like this person is somebody who's been keeping things casual. Right? So I feel like you're going to get some communication here from this person um, because they're feeling like you're kind of slipping away here. Let's look at, and I'm using the wrong cards, let's look at the near future energy. So this is the exchanging gifts here, okay? So we'll see what that is, whether it's your person here or it's you, okay? Let's see... Um, What's, what's the near future energy here for Virgo? What's the near future energy here for Virgo? Okay. High Priestess. 
<clears throat> excuse me, Cancerian and Pisces energy, Strength card, Leo energy, Three of Swords. Okay, and I'm going to pull another card here. Six of Wands. All right, let's see. At bottom of the deck here, King of Wands. Your person keeps coming up as the King of Wands. Could be a fire sign. Um, this is someone I feel... Um, I feel like this person has been maybe a bit secretive. I, I'm just going to say here with the High Priestess. I don't feel like they're telling you everything and that's probably the unfinished business not feeling like you've really gotten any clarity from your person so I don't feel like they're being honest um, about everything okay so coming you know in the near future energy I do feel like they could still be a bit secretive here but I'm going to say there could be a secret or something here with the strength card that they're trying to gain the courage here to come towards you. Um, and maybe, you know, for some, this can be around forgiveness, okay? You also have here the Three of Swords and you have the Six of Wands, okay? So I'm going to say near future energy. I do feel um, if this person hurt you in some sort of way, um, if there was a third party situation, I do feel potentially there could have been, um, that could be why you and this person were not on the same page, why they're feeling stuck here, why they've been so indecisive here. It may be that your person needed to make a decision. So I feel like there's something unknown here that needs to be revealed by your person. And I feel like they're coming towards you, um, you know, for some, uh, for healing, forgiveness here, okay, they're hoping for that victory here, okay, that win here, but I'm just going to say, Virgo, I still kind of pick up from your person, somebody who may still be keeping things at a casual level, so if you're wanting something else, I feel like that's, you know, that's going to be your crossroad energy to decide why, where do you want to put your time and energy, okay? So this could be somebody, right, who is, right, they may, they may come back around saying they want forgiveness and this and that, but the, the interesting energy there is, all right, I'm going to clarify this high priestess. Let's see what this high priestess energy is. Why is the high priestess energy here? Now, it could be their intuition telling them to come back. Or to put more effort. Look at that. Three of swords right off the bat. Six of cups. Two of cups. Four of cups. Yeah. This is someone I feel who has other options. Uh, page of cups here. Okay. This is someone who has other options. And, and I feel here there could have been somebody else who either it's an ex or somebody in the past um, or I'm, I'm just going to say a new love. Somebody could have come, in, come into their life here is what I get here. They have very strong feelings for you. That's what it's showing me with the two of cups, right? They have very strong feelings for you. They think about you. They miss you, right? But they may have rejected, right, the love offer here. But I think I feel here it's because they had other offers. There, was, there is somebody else or they were keeping their options open and they weren't being open and honest, right? Maybe that they were dating other people or they were interested in, in somebody. It's going to be different for all of you. So what I'm going to do now, Virgo, I'm going to take it to the extended. We're going to see how this plays out. Uh, intentions are going to be really key here with your person. So I hope to see you there, Virgo. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.